As this procession gets to the outskirts of town, they suddenly take a right and head east, up the zigzagging side trail leading up the mountain, the head of going the up to the castle. I think we must go west. This is opposite of the direction well, we need to go. We're just trying to observe what these yeah. spirits are doing. I mean, is this green light traveling with them? They are it the is. green light. They are the green light. <laughs> so in my time working with the uh, spirits and stuff, these, just from what I've seen, these spirits don't really interact with us. They don't even realize we're actually here. It's more of a residual type of haunting. So if we follow them up, we might be able to see what it was that they were doing at one point that may have killed them. Think of it as sort of a, a replay on loop, right? Okay. So these guys are probably doing the same thing yeah. night after night. Yeah. Whatever. That's crazy. So do you want to follow so them? Follow I think or? it might be a good idea to follow them and see what it is they're actually doing, where they're going, and what happens when they get there. Should we sneak behind them? It honestly, it don't matter because they don't even they know we're here. But I don't know. It seems like they're heading up toward the castle. I'd kind of like to see what happens when they get there. Uh, okay, I'm with you. It's an interesting looking spectacle. Yes. yes. All right, so y'all are following it up to the castle? Yes. yes. You follow as they wind back and forth up the trail that leads up to the castle as the moon still shines down. And as they come to the gate and the portals of the gate is closed, they pass directly through it and continue marching into the doors. You can watch through the bars as they march inside the gate and disappear. Well, there goes that plan. I don't think it'd be wise to trespass on the uh, castle grounds, so my interest is satiated for the moment. 